Hey y'all, Fozzie here. The Click Attack Loop. Man, what can I say? This thing is awesome. Uh, this should be on everyone's ride list. If this ain't on your ride list, I mean, put it on there. I mean, right now, write it down. This thing has a bit of everything that a great motorcycle ride should have in it. Uh, hills and dales, winds through the canyons, views of the river, views of the mountains. This thing is awesome. Just uh, don't take my word for it. Let's check this ride out. I'll put all the details and uh, ride logistics at the end. I mean, you got to see this place. Check it out. Well now, you see what I mean? That ride is awesome. It's a click a tat loop. It's the fourth deadliest ride in the state. It's a big loop. It starts out in Lyle, runs up 141, cuts over to Glenwood, down the BZ Glenwood Highway to 142, and then down 142 back into White Salmon or Bingen area. Uh, gorgeous ride. Great views of Mount Adams, uh, Mount Hood. Ryan's along the river down there. You get a good view of the Columbia Gorge. The ride to the place is awesome, too. I mean, and it's remote. I saw more squirrels and chipmunks than I did cars and traffic. So it's really cool. Lots of twists and turns. A few places where the road gets a little narrow up towards the top on 141, but it just makes it all the better. I mean, this is an awesome ride. Uh, lodging, because this is a little bit far from my place, so... Uh, had to stay the night there to get this one in but uh i will tell you on the washington side of the river right off highway 14 there got some videos about that one coming up too but on highway 14 there there is not a ton of places to stay there's a few but uh, you might want to get a reservation in advance if not you're going to be looking at crossing over the columbia there uh on the oregon side 
There's plenty of lodging on the Oregon side there in uh, Hood River, the Dalles, whatever. But a word to the wise, uh, that Hood River Bridge is something. Um, if you haven't been over it before, it's a graded bridge deck. The, the channel over the Columbia there is extremely windy. It's a narrow bridge. It's probably a quarter mile long or longer, maybe. Uh, so you're going to get a lot of wobbles and stuff crossing that bridge. So uh, be careful. You might want to take a different bridge across if you're going to stay on the Oregon side. But overall, this ride is awesome. Uh, like I said, put it on your ride list. Get out there and check this one out. I wouldn't miss this one. I'm going to go back again for sure more than once. Lovely ride, man.